Hey everybody, welcome back. What a sweet, sweet knife we have here. This is the Spyderco Capara. Now, it's designed by Alistair Phillips, and I have to say, amazing. Just take a look at it. Everybody that told me, JT's Knife Live, Slicey Dice, he told me a couple times, hey, if you like the Benchmade 940 Osborne, you're gonna love this Capara. And they were 100% right. So, shout out to them. Awesome that I got a chance to get one of these. Right now, they're all sold out, but more being made. Watch them probably flood the market right at or after Blade Show. But let's do some quick stats. This one, bring it up in the picture here. Overall length, 8.25 inches. Blade length, 3.6 inches. Your blade style is a drop point. Your steel is CPM S30V. You have a flat grind with a satin blade. Your handle length is 4.65 inches. You have a carbon fiber blade, or excuse me, carbon fiber handles, CPM S30V blade. Carbon fiber handles, you have a full stainless steel frame liner. Look at that. Compression lock on the back. And I do have to talk about the backspacer in just a second, but you do have a clip style deep pocket carry Go right or left-handed for tip-up carry. You do have your spidey thumb hole. Getting used to those. So, right on. Uh, like I said, this is, uh, I don't, maybe I didn't say, but this is made in their uh, Taiwan factory. And I have to say, this one's right on. So, anyways, compression lock. Very smooth, very nice. Just like butter. And I do have to say, the original backspacer that came with it is this darker one right here. So you can see in the light the difference between the two. And I have to say, I love this popper red. Now, this is the original one from Spyderco. This is one that I bought from Alistair Phillips's website. It was actually gifted to me by Mr. Kluver, so props to him. But you can purchase one of those on Alistair Phillips's website. I'll link that down below as well. This is what matched his original prototype. So anyways, Really, really nice. I think we should do some comparisons though, just because, well, you know, 940 wise was the inspiration for me. So let's get one of the 940s. And what better yet than the Smoky Mountain carbon fiber, red resin infused 940. So you can see it's a little bit bigger than that. Do bug out in carbon fiber with Rogue Blade Works on it. Pretty nice. Guess I should show this one as well. Pretty nice. Uh, the Mini Crooked River. And we'll do one more Spider Co. inspired. The Para 3 in the Peel Ply Carbon Fiber. Which I'm loving that one, so thanks, Tossa. Anyways, so on this one, what do you guys think? Now, a lot of people have seen it. I've been using it for the last couple weeks. And I have to say, I, I really like it. You know, I got to get a sharpen on it. I haven't got the, uh, haven't brought the factory edge back. But somebody that I was showing it to today was like, hey, man, you know, this is, uh, isn't super sharp. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I've been using it. So, got to get the edge back on there. So, do some, do some light, light work with it. Put it on a strop. But yeah, the backspacer shows through, really pops. Got your spidey hole. What do you guys think on these compression locks? Do you guys like those? I know they have them on the pair of three on this one as well. And to me, it, it, they're just butter smooth. So I really like that. Keeps my fingers out of the way so I don't get a blade on top of my fingers or thumb. But yeah. I really like this. So, Alistair, if you watch this, right on, man. I love your design. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Check out my subscriber giveaways. This one's a win for me. So, if you have the opportunity to pick one up, do it. Uh, hopefully, they get them in stock. If I get any sort of uh, discount codes or hear of anything, check my Instagram. I'll float it over there. But, yeah, pick one of these up if you can. It's a Spider Co. Capara. You guys take care.
Have an awesome, awesome day.